here is a Vectrex displaying one triangle. All of the processing is being done on a Macintosh and the vector data is being sent wirelessly over a UDP socket to a Pytrex running Linux. The Macintosh is running a processing program that I did not write, but the program is based on a 1986 simulation by Craig Reynolds that simulates how birds and fish flock together. I took the processing code and modified it to wirelessly transmit the vector data to the Vectrex. Here's five birds, let's call them. They follow three simple rules, separation, alignment, and cohesion. All of the vector data is being processed on the Mac. The Pytrex just has to receive that data in real time and attempt to display it. I think this is about 20 birds. Here's around 30. I really like how the Vectrex uh, makes noise depending on how many uh, vectors are being drawn and where on the screen they're being drawn. Here's both the Mac and the Vectrex screen at the same time. This is 40 birds. Let's see how many we can display before the Vectrex starts to complain. It's 45. That's 50. Sixty. Okay, that's some some problems. That's around 70, 71. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see what happens. That's 90. All right, well, probably around 50 is safer. And that's 100. Thank <laughs> you.